Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to another episode of Timber and Stone. We are on day 72. Our castle is looking fantastic and I've got just a couple of things to go over before I get to add a couple more names. I think I got two of them if I recall correctly. So, things we are working on. Number one, um, is, uh, well, okay, number one is the inn. The inn has continued to be worked on. I've got the bottom floor is laid out the bottom the walls are up I uh, cut the windows out of there I think that looks pretty good uh, that's that'll do it you know decently enough for for windows for an inn uh, I got two staircases coming up from the lower floor and this is gonna just be tables and chairs and stuff yeah and then the upper floor is gonna be all like little little rooms for the inn so we should finally start to have enough like beds and everything for for people here they can use that at least um one of the other things uh number two that i'm gonna start to work on a little bit um it requires a bit of a bit of building i need a blacksmith and a carpenter place and then beyond that i guess i also need tailor blacksmith carpenter tailor i think those are the three workshops that i need to build or out around the bottom somewhere um, it shouldn't be terribly complicated to do. I should really get on that. And then once the inn is done, actually, I can actually really, like, start remodeling in here. Because I can tear this out and take all these beds out of here. Oh, God. Walking to desired target. Why do you guys all just stand next to your beds? You just, you just don't know what the heck to do, do you? Oh, wait. Are there people sleeping in front of all the doors? Gosh, these people. No, okay. People can still walk in and out. Great. Yep, tired people walking all the way back there still. Okay, so we're going to start working on that. And then number three that I had just... Oh, I should do this while I'm thinking of it. Because this might help a little. Uh, for one, all of these guards, the infantry that we're guarding inside of here, no longer setting them to guard position. Let me actually go ahead and remove that. And remove that. There we go. Okay, all the guard positions are gone. I have actually set them all to patrol and set all of my patrol routes. Right now there are three, one for this long road, one for this long road, and then one for these two short roads. I set all of those patrol routes to re request two infantry so that they will have a little bit better coverage and give more people stuff to do. Um, they've been just wrecking face, honestly. But what I'm going to do here, since they're all out on patrol, these beds I'm going to change to profession and infantry so instead of being owned by a particular person I think it's actually going to be way way more efficient to just have them owned by the infantry profession and I apologize to those who I am stealing their beds however you did sign up to be infantry, so just shut up and do what you're told. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that's all set. Oh, look at... I should have my miners working on that, actually, because that's the last level. Yeah, yeah. let's just quick uh, dig mine. Do that. And... Oh, mm -mm. There? Nope, five was correct. Dang it. All right, do that. Okay, we can get this thing, this big storage area finished out. That'll help. I can put treasure and all that stuff down there that I'm missing. I'll go from from there. What am I missing here? Seriously. All right, here we go. All these layers of designations are getting more and more difficult to see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, I left a little pedestal for the for the stuff there, but they can dig that out once they're done. Very good. They're keeping busy. How are the builders doing here? Okay, we are doing fine. We are running low on wood. Get funked. Our wood chopper. He is chopping away somewhere. Somewhere. He might be asleep. He might be asleep. He is totally asleep. Oh, look at... Oh, hey. Is that Thiago? It is Thiago. Thiago's chilling out with Get Funked there in the little uh, woodcutter's hut. Um, I probably... Well, I don't really need to get rid of these trees. 
I need to just do that road around this side of it. Um, and then, which is kind of funny, I almost have like an overgrown graveyard here. I did have a plan for a graveyard at one point. So I should, I should just move that probably and we can make a better one. But for now, I've got this designated. Construction, we're using smooth timber, which is not the prettiest, but it's what I started with. So that's what we're stuck with. All right, let's see here. That's going fine. Let's see where the spider is. There it is. Gather resources. Here's another one. I feel like I'm staying on top of the spider population with all these guys. Jeez. At least I hope I am. Oh, who's this? Oh, that's Diago. Of course. He was just right over there. Handy. All right. So the inn is coming along, and you can see on this level, I'm building the floor out to level with the walls, and I will put the... I'm going to do, like, the completely stereotypical um, timbered plaster walls around the upstairs. Because you know what? If there's anything that should be stereotypical, it should be this inn. Really. It's totally... Oh, Skeletal Infantry by Bork. Oh, you're an archer. You're probably... You might want to run. You may want to... Yeah, retreat. That's exactly what I was thinking you would want to do. <laughs> good idea good idea drag him over yeah. i'm hurt no kidding man run to the hut run to the hut let the infantry do your job seriously that's why i don't like archers and now spotted bang bang Ooh, 11 hardly a scratch just gather those up all right now okay we're Digging down there, looks great. Like I said, that's the last level to dig out of this silly storage area, so that'll be nice. Not like I need the stone. Uh, okay, so if I wanna put a road up here, this is a really steep hill, actually. Right in, right in this spot. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe I should have the road come out this way and kind of angle. That would be cool. A little bit of an angled road there, a little bit more. It's just slightly more following the landscape. Kind of come over this way, and then curve out straight here, and then like a 45 degree, and then just kind of straight over to here. Something like that. Give give a, a decent patrol route for infantry to, to keep track of. Do, 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 do. And... Okay, good. Soldiers using the beds. Neil. Here. Oh, all of you guys. Wow, I forgot about all that. I have got... All right, let's... You know what? Before I get too much further and completely forget, let's get to the names. And where's my list? Where is my list? There it is. All right. Uh, so, who do we have available? I do have... Um, I do have, no, I have like four. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hold on. I need to update this. Maud and Christopher. All right. Well, great. We have 39 units and I have heard from people and I, I believe this is true as well. Not just cause I heard it. Um, I believe I've seen this from like the you know official site and developers and whatnot that the limit currently is 50 on a single settlement just because their goal with this game isn't to get to be like a huge huge city it's just to be kind of settlements anyway let's move on here so Neil yeah Lucy is my last one on the list of people named so Neil Franchet Neil Franchet chilling here being an infantry, I gotta actually be more careful. I didn't realize, oh, these guys that are set to combat training, okay, they are not set to walk patrol. Okay, whew, jeez. That is good to know. All right, Neil Franchet. Um, where was I? Okay, Neil Franchet, you, sir, I have a comment here from Mutt Gray. 
And his comment says, Love the series. I love the laid back quality of your commentary. I have a name idea as well. Any male citizen named Aaron Gray doesn't matter what his job is. Well, you're one of the lucky few slash many <laughs> to get infantry. So Aaron, and this is Gray. And he says specifically it's pronounced Gray. So Aaron Gray, welcome to the settlement, sir. Welcome. Uh, the next one is Madeline, Maud, and Christopher. Let's see. Um, I, I'm pretty much unable to, for, for people who are requesting a specific profession, I was just scanning through real quick. I am going to straight up say I, I, I can't, I can't keep track of who wants what profession and try to mix that with, you know, what order you requested stuff in. So I'm just going straight down the list. You get who you get, you get a name. That's, that's all I'm going to promise. Uh, all right. So. The next one I have is from Crazy Enderman 81. Simple request says on Wednesday, please name David Ib Smertz. I am not sure if that is English, honestly, but I'm just going to go literally here. David Ib Smertz. You're going to have to let me know if that's completely incorrect or if you meant something else, but. At any rate, welcome to the settlement, David. And moving on, uh, Maud here, who is currently an archer. Ah, who gets the archer? And I hate archers, but. So the next comment I have is from Michael Avenoso. Uh, comment says, recently found this game on Generic Beast channel and wanted to see more and found out about you. Cool. So by the way, since you're doing the villager naming thing, can you please name a male migrant Blaze as his first name, then Pyro as his last name, and make him an archer and make sure he is not fearful at fighting, at least athletic if possible, and have him carry good enough weight, having a strong back trait or not or not, no week back for the next possible migrant you have, please. This falls under the category of, there's no way I'm gonna fulfill all those requests. <laughs> there's no way all of those different qualities and criteria, you're getting an archer. Just That is just fate, essentially, there, that that lined up. So you are looking for someone named Blaze Pyro. We're, we'll go with it. And you're courageous and disloyal. So congratulations, you'll run into a fight, but you might switch sides halfway through. <laughs> Welcome to the settlement, Blaze. And finally, getting one last renaming. All these people are infantry at the moment. I could re-profession them to whatever, because everyone gets infantry training. So the fourth one and the last comment for this week's naming is from Ethan Maywees? Mayhuis something um he says make a stonemason named deep nuts and last name Gotti all right um other than the stonemason thing I all the stonemasons are currently accounted for and I'm not going to try to shuffle names around that will cause me to screw up you're looking for deep nuts Gotti you know what? It's not like horribly offensive, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it slide. <laughs> Welcome to the settlement, Deep Nuts. At least I don't think it's too terribly offensive. Not to me, anyway. So, there we are. All kinds of skeletal infantry been fighting. Gather. These guys are just spiders. Gather. Gather. Thiago's really gonna be kept busy. I try to keep this cleaned up. Gather. Oh, what's this? A goblin. All right, gather. I didn't even see that happen. Oh, here's another one. Brunhilda. That's Brunhilda. That's a zero. Oh, yeah. Gather. And that is indeed Brunhilda. And I also um, gonna have to cut this off or just pause it real quick here till we get to morning. But I did also uh, notice that 
uh, whoever commented that I had some of my infantry still set to use light helm, and that's why they weren't grabbing the new better helms. I have all of them switched over to heavy helms now, so no worries about that. And there's another dead spider. All right, there's another dead spider. <laughs> and another dead spider. So thanks, everybody, and I'll be back in just a moment uh, for the morning and to see how far we can get on some more construction and decorating of the inn here. Alrighty, we are back on day 73, and the inn is coming along, but have a little bit of bad news. As you can see down here, Bork Wimp Foglar is slain by a skeletal infantry. <sighs> it's, it's a shame, but he was an archer, and he... I was setting up my, my archers. I have a couple of them set up here, actually, on this back wall. A lot of people suggested this. Um... Skeletal infantry was spotted. Actually, where's that guy going? You. Hey. Rogue villager is going to eat. All right, cool. Um, spotted by Pancake Man. That was way too short-lived. But we get the battle music anyway. So, Bork Wimp Fogler, he was an archer, and he decided to take off and come walking around the outside of the walls over this way, and he got munched by a skeletal infantry. Uh, way just like... Two munches before I could even find him, he was dead. So not a lot I can do, but I've added, uh, marked him off as deceased on my list of villagers. So once we start getting like, you know, I get that kind of graveyard memorial area going, then uh, then we'll be able to actually m properly memorialize those who have fallen. He will be, he will not be forgotten. Um, so as for, um, as for the inn, let's see, I didn't do much else up here. Who the heck are you, seriously? Oh, okay, you're deep nuts, of course. You, you, I think you are going to be a farmer. I was looking at my food. My food is actually decreasing slightly. And I think that can only be because I have a lot of settlers now. Um, my wheat also actually is pretty dang. Well, it's over full, isn't it? I wonder if they are holding on to like wheat and that's hurting me too. No? Okay. I don't know. Uh, how about you? Holding on anything? Nope. All right, well, I turned off one of my wheat farms so that'll that'll, that'll even out pretty soon. Um, I'm thinking I do need to assign another um, another farmer. So, deep nuts. You are the man just cuz. Uh, actually, where's Lucy? You're, oh, you're out fighting and you're, you're fully equipped. So, I'll let you continue doing that. You're doing, you're doing a good job out there. Um, I also did assign another woodcutter because I'm building so much of this in out of wood that, let's get funked over here. Uh, Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Let me pull this height down. There we go. Seriously? Oh, oh, you're sleeping. David Ib Smertz. Yes, I switched this bed out here over to wood choppers. So these guys can, you know, just we can be bunking together out there. It'd be no problem. They're they're close. <laughs> ah dear lord, another skeletal infantry. I don't... Oh, another one. Jeez. All right. We can't be going running off after every skeletal infantry. They're everywhere. Uh, what's going on here is I originally made the rooms quite small, and I was going to see if I could fit another set in the middle, but that just was way too cramped. I figured I'd rather set up these rooms nicer, so I extended them out. They're going to be longer. And now I've got to wait for my miners to not be busy. But we can still... Um, you can still start putting stuff in here, like comfortable beds. Oh yes, comfortable beds, I tell ya. Everybody's been waiting for these. So, should I put the bed near the window? I could actually like have it away from the window. Yeah, let's do that. That seems kind of nice. Kind of hotel-like, actually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll do that. 
This is this is the, the finest in hotel design here. I'm just trying to mass produce these. There we go. Those will work. Uh, doors. Just a plain door, please. One there, one there. Great. Now, other furniture. Like a dresser. Yeah. Yes, a dresser. Dresser. Uh, I can't do it in very many of these rooms. I can put one here. Next to the bed. Great. And then... Let's see. Fireplace. Oh, I didn't put any fireplaces in here. That's okay. They wouldn't work too, too well in the inn. A uh, small bookcase, large bookcase. I can put some of these in the hall. That might be a nice touch. Interesting. Let's see here. Let's put a couple there. Oh, this is going to be great. A couple. Oops. Cancel. Cancel. There we go. Uh, large bookcase. That just takes some timber. No biggie. Oh, good. We got some miners to come in here and clink away at these pieces of wood. <laughs> okay, great. Now I can go back to dressers. There and there. There and what's... We're waiting for someone over here. There you are. Alright, oh, and the other thing we need. Sorry about all the noise. We're under construction still. Uh, we need some windows. I'm going to put them all over there. Great. Gorgeous. That will be gorgeous. And then... Um, let's put one... Okay, let me cancel these bookshelves. I should actually have windows. Ha! Ha ha ha! Beat ya! I beat ya. Alright, so I'm gonna do a three-er, and a three-er, and... Put one like there, okay. Three, and three... And then one there. there. There we go. Nice sets of windows. How do those look? A little big? Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Great. Windows for all of them. Dressers for some of them. Objects, furniture. Why isn't there a dresser in there? Interesting. One there. Okay, everybody else has got one. You get away from the door. Jeez. Uh, what else can we put in here? Small bookcase? I think a small bookcase might be a good idea. Should I put that in the corner? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I'll put it over here. I'll do that. A little more balance. Is there a nightstand? I didn't even look for that. Uh, medium table. Merchants willing to buy 515 wheat. No thanks. That's way too much. Uh, large table. Comfortable bed. Straw bread. Wooden chair. Ah, I can put a chair in these rooms. 24 flax seed. Wow. That's, yeah, go for it. Still a little bit high on wheat, but we're not producing too much. Hmm. Oh, seven leather. No thanks. Great. This is looking good. Ah, oh, we're starting to get some more beds. Just starting. Uh, I could do a chair. I could do a chair. But you know what? I am going to save the chairs for downstairs. Downstairs chairs. Chairs downstairs. All right, so down here, ho, 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 uh, we are going to do 
a large table. Oh, look at that. That's just fantastic. So we're gonna do one large table. I think over here. And like that. Yep, one there. That looks good. And then I think I'm gonna do small or other medium tables, I guess. Do a number of medium tables. Just kinda one there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. One there. One there. Uh, get a little bit tight in here. One there, and then we'll do one there. That looks okay. Kind of a hodgepodge. Oh, good. Our wood production is up. That is excellent news. Oh, Diago? He killed it. He killed it. Look at this trail of skeletons. Jeez. It's nice not having to worry about it, though. I'll, get, I'll definitely give it that much. Okay, so, yes, the big table, nice. Okay, wooden chairs. So we can make this nice and spacious now. No more crowded crap. There, there, all right, cool. There, 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 there. Come on, there we go. And then that one, that one, that one, that one. Good. This is gonna, this is gonna look amazing. It's gonna be a pop in place, I tell ya. Yep, we'll just do that. We'll just go with it. Whoa. Stop holding shift. <laughs> uh, oh, that'll actually jam up that walkway. We'll just skip it. That's fine. Nice. Looks cozy. Hmm. Some of it's a little bit more cozy than others, I guess. That's okay, though. Oh my gosh, and it's dusk, it's getting dark. This is gonna be uh, a, a nice long episode, I would say. So, the inn is coming along fantastically. I just have to finish the walls upstairs and wait for the carpenters to catch up with all this stuff I've got them building. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the place is looking great. I like it. I like it quite a lot. Throw some bookcases up here for decor. Ah, nice. Oh, and we need some wall sconces, but we need some walls before I can put those up. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I'm really glad everybody's liking the kind of the slightly new format where I do like two days per episode. Um, it definitely, you know, lets me accomplish more in a single episode, though it does take a bit longer to record it. I can tell you that much. But thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next episode.